Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Sean. We're Smile Empty Soul, and you're watching Punk Videos Rock. Hey guys, Rob here at Punk Videos Rock, hanging out with Smile Empty Soul. How's it going, guys? It's been a minute since we've seen you guys. We're, we're good, man. We're good. How, how's the tour coming along so far? It's good. We're, this is actually only day four, so... You know, it's very fresh and new, and we're just trying to get into the groove of the whole thing still. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's good. It's been fun. And this tour is actually for the new album, which almost didn't come out, right? Could you tell us a little bit about that? No, this one has always been scheduled to come out as soon as we uh, decided to start working on it. It comes out May 22nd, and uh, it's coming out you know, on iTunes and everything like that, and also in stores, Best Buys and whatnot. Okay. And then it's a new new label change for this. You guys have experienced a lot of various labels. How's that going for you guys? And are you guys at the level where maybe you guys could be doing your own label soon? Um, we feel like at the last couple of labels we were actually on, we were essentially doing it ourselves already. So we're actually glad to be on E1, which we're on now, because uh, they're a little more supportive and uh, they, they, they back their artists a little bit harder than some of the labels we've been on recently. And yeah. we're excited to see what they're going to do. And how's, uh, how's the change with, with the industry been for you guys? I, I'm sure you guys have noticed it. It's been, what, 14 years since you guys first started, right? Yeah, 98. since we first started, but uh, since we started actually putting out records and touring, it's been like nine years. Okay. So, um, but yeah, the industry's definitely changed in every way, you know. It's, it's not what it used to be, so yeah. we're just, we're trying to adapt and change with the times and roll with it, you know. Do you think it's making it harder these days to be a band or a lot easier these days with the internet? Uh, I think it, it depends. I mean, it, it's it's awesome for up and coming artists, um, you know, as far as, you know, having all the tools of the Internet and having their music so easily accessible. But um, as far as, you know, getting out there and touring for for just a band that's still establishing themselves, it, it's I think it's harder now because there's so many bands out there trying to do the same thing. And it's yeah, it's, it's still really competitive. No yeah, exactly. There's no money. <laughs> There's a lot of similar sounds nowadays. Everybody, everybody's trying to be almost similar to, to the genre, right? Yeah, there's a lot of generic stuff going on, for <laughs> sure. So tell us a little bit more about this album. Uh, what is this album about? What influenced this record? And how different was this one from the previous record? Um, our new album's called Threes. comes out May 22nd. And uh, this record is just, for me personally, and I, I know these guys are very stoked on it as well, it's... It's my favorite record we made, and I feel like it shows a lot of growth and uh, maturity, and it's very musical and riff-oriented, and all you know, all kinds of uh, all kinds of good stuff. It's it's uh, definitely our best our best one. Yeah, it's badass. <laughs> if, if, if you like all our other stuff, you you like the stuff too. And then, uh, what what's the story behind behind the album artwork for this one? Um. It's supposed to symbolize and represent, you know, um, perseverance, rebirth, and uh, and uh, progression. I guess forward progression, you know. And we we all kind of just sat down with with uh, our buddy Chris Sahenik, who who does uh, some art stuff for us here and there. And we just kind of pow out on ideas and came up with a concept. And just he started chipping away at it, and he'd send us a little thing, and we'd make little changes and send it back and. You know, eventually we molded it into what it is now, and I think it turned out really cool, actually. And your current single right now, you guys have a lyric video on there. Any plans for an actual music video for it? Yeah, we just shot the video, and uh, they just finished edi editing the video, and turned out really good. Looks like a little mo mini movie, and uh, I think they're going to be launching that with the album release. So look for it around the same time, 22nd. What more can you tell us about the music video? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> it was shot in Simi Valley, uh, California. I don't know. It was a blast. I mean, it's gonna turn out good. I mean, yeah, yeah. Going any plans? Uh, I know this this is still fresh for this tour, but any uh, summer tour plans coming up? We're working on something right now for July and August, and uh, it's coming together. So you know, it's not it's not official yet, so we can't talk too much about it. But we're definitely gonna be out doing something. And then what else can we expect for Smile Empty Soul for this year? Yeah, lots of touring. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just getting to uh, other parts of the world, too, and just playing our music to as many people as possible. 
Well, I appreciate you guys giving me the time to hang out with you guys. You guys be sure to check them out. Catch your new record May 22nd and uh, stick around with Punk Videos Rock. See you guys soon.